squash, normal, most familiar squash probably. Um, this is a jester. Uh, so all squash are roughly the same, but um, they tend to be slightly different in their texture. And some of them are a little sweeter. So acorns, a little bit drier and stringier. Jesters, smooth and sweet. Um, but I pretty much cook them all the same way. The easiest way for the lazy person, stick the whole squash in the oven at like 400 degrees, leave it there till it's soft, cut it open, scoop out the flesh, and you already have squash puree pretty much at that point. You could just eat it like that, honestly, but salt, pepper, uh, maybe a touch of something sweet, maple syrup's nice. What about butter? Uh, sometimes it needs a little cream or butter, but honestly, maybe not. A little bit of hot pepper actually is nice, along with the sweetness. Mm. Uh, maybe a little sage or nutmeg. Um, but uh, especially with uh, this one, you can also actually eat the skin um, if you cut it into thin slices. And roast the slices. You toss them with olive oil, uh, herbs, spices, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of vinegar, and just roast those slices in a pan till the edges start to brown and the flesh is tender. Uh, and you can eat those. They'd be nice. You could do uh, some Middle Eastern spices, cumin, coriander, some hot pepper. Serve it with a little yogurt. You can also use them cool in a salad. Use some nice bitter greens, a little goat cheese, some nuts, a few dried cranberries, make a tasty salad. Oh, that's great, Thomas. You got great cooking ideas. Yeah, that's why I farm. Okay, now let's do the squash the toss. Squash Prop toss. The proper way to throw a squash. Sideways. Spin. <laughs> Thanks, Thomas. <laughs> Signing off from the alleged farm in Easton, New York.